temperature, a heating toilet seat, it's a little bit exaggerated. <laughs> Welcome in Japan, baby. <laughs> it is like over 30 degrees and the humidity is probably around 85% and it is not a pleasure to sit on the heating toilet seat right now. <laughs> that is a high-tech country. <laughs> now you can go to the toilet and have the nice experience for yourself. Thank you. We just arrived in Miyanoshita. This is in Hakone region where you supposedly might see uh, Mount Fuji and there is a nice lake also and uh, all the tourists they drove further with this train we were the only one which went out I'm not sure if we did something wrong again. <laughs> but we were, had to take first this local train I mean we didn't have to take a local train we were stubborn to take a local train yeah. instead of rapid train because rapid was double price and for the local from Tokyo to Odawara we paid 1,261 one. One yen this and it was okay, it was empty just that we were driving for two hours <laughs> yeah and stopping at every single station but it was a nice experience and now we are here and now we are going to find something to eat yes. and find our hostel we book a hostel this time because it was not possible to book something else and if it was it was so expensive that we i think couldn't afford it no? uh, do you know what i think it is a good one yeah this time yeah it has a very good review so yeah. hopefully it will be okay japanese style room small table mattress pillow done what do you want more hmm? there is nothing more no. <laughs> we are gonna make a onsen a private one means just for us. Door is locked. I looked. It will be a weird experience. <laughs> and especially we didn't plan it at all. No, we were somehow pushed into it from yeah, this really lovely really lovely woman. She offered us this and we just took it. It's but that's okay. Yeah. We will film and we will show how it is looking like but we will not film us, obviously. No. <laughs> there is a reason to this. No. Okay. This was our first onsen in Japan. What to say, it is a kind of really hot water where you first have to go in with a yeah, strong will, <laughs> let's say, <laughs> that you are not getting cooked. It's definitely not mine. No? No. Yes. I prefer sauna, even though I am not a fan of sauna. I couldn't really manage to sit there for a long time. Yeah, it is 10 minutes is manageable, no? Your maximum your, your. It is a nice experience. It's good to do something like that, but I think I will not do it again. No. It is not mine. No. no. It's too cold. But we tried it. Yeah. So. Next time we do something different. Okay. We are at the Shinto Shrine in Hakone. This shrine is very famous because of this Tori Gate which goes into the water of Lake Ashi. It's Saturday morning today and it's so-called Silver Week in Japan. It means it's a long week and Monday is a national day. We really wanted to come here because of this famous Tori Gate and it is really impressive. It is so beautiful. It is when you're going through this night is so big and then you just have a lake and the water in front of you and it was really peaceful, no? Yeah. 
And there's this, in everything here in Japan, there is an order. You have to stand in the queue to go to take a picture, and everybody is waiting until mm -hmm. you did it. It's mm -hmm. like so nice. Yeah. yeah. To, I, I really enjoy this. Um, yeah. Like how people are behaving, like yeah. they, everybody is following these rules in these places, everybody respects, it. they give you a time to take a picture. Yeah. But maybe because we were there at like quarter past seven, yeah, and I it saw was not many people there. I saw pictures on the internet, there was a long queue up to the yeah. forest. Yeah, but now we are at the shrine, we will stay here for a moment, like right now there is nobody here just us Shinto shrine is they are very simple they are very aesthetic i i found them very very nice very simple and people who go to pray they go they're in bow twice then they clap their hand twice they say their prayers and then they bow once again and they throw always the coins in the front of the shrine and you can also uh, draw again this uh, fortune telling. Mm -hmm. If you get a bad one, then you can tie them up here, leave them in the shrine. You don't take this bad fortune with you. Nee. You just take the good one with The bad one you just leave, no? Yeah, they stay here yeah. forever. <laughs> This, this shrine was back then built on the top of the mountain and uh, someone it was moved down here to this lake. Um, it is connected to the god of nine dragons and we can see here are heads of nine dragons with a spring water and it is a holy water and you can take it with you in a bottle if you want to. This region is known for many hot springs but it's also known for these cold springs and here in this Hakone Shrine, it's one of these cold springs. It's called Ryujin. It's a dragon god spring. Is it Hakone Shrine? This here is a tree of childbirth. Uh, as I understood, if I understood it right, people are coming here and are praying for that the birth of their child will be not complicated and without a pain. Then we have nothing to do here. Let's go. This one is really sweet. And the small house is like a small shrine behind it, ne? And the small animal figures, did you see them? Not really how I imagined. No? No. What did you imagine? Some nice path with a bench. It is really nice here. We have the waterfall behind us. And the suspension bridge. Stay back. Yeah. It looks really cool. We're gonna check this out later, but uh, now it's time for a treat. Daniel wanted to drink a beer. Yes. Up the river. Yes. That is a draft beer in a can. No, it is not so high. There is a spider hanging. <laughs> oh my God, it is shaking.
here is a perfect grass. It is just perfect. Yes. Like on a good place. It is perfectly cut, it that's the truth. Yeah. Perfectly green, perfectly cut. There is Daniel. Get up. Yeah, it's nothing for people who have a vertigo. Right now we are in the Hakone Open Air Museum. It is the first Japanese open air museum. It was opened in 1969. On this whole area there is approximately 120 famous works by modern and contemporary sculptures. It has also some indoor exhibitions. There is also Picasso Pavilion, which we are going to visit soon. And you can take a free foot bath here in the small onsen. Yeah. Look. <laughs> the water has around, I think, 40 degrees. It is standing there. There is the thermometer. And when you go in, it is really hot, but now it is kind of really pleasant. Yeah? Mm -hmm. There are stones in it that you can have a small foot massage. If you want to. Yeah. Yeah. There's also a cafe and some restaurant, I think. Maybe we can check it later. Today is Sunday and we came here at 9 o'clock to just go in when it was opening. And it's already relatively busy. But right now it's this long weekend in Japan, so there's no wonder. Yeah, but you can still find a corner and enjoy a little bit this modern art by yourself. Yeah, this cool um, tower, yeah, with this uh, glass. It was, it is really nice. It's really beautiful. Also inside. Unfortunately, I couldn't go in because I have a vertigo and I think I would die there. But, but I was up. Yeah, it was cool. There are the stairs with a feet printed on that you know which stairs you're going up and which direction you're supposed to walk, and everything is in order. And yeah, there up you have a nice panorama view also in the mountains and over also this park a little bit. It is a viewing platform, no? basically. Yeah, a little yeah. bit, yeah. A beautiful mm -hmm. viewing platform. Yeah. You bought yourself a small tower. And it was just 100 yen. And I will take it with me for the heat. You can make cold water. But this is a warm water here. In here, yeah. No, here I will not do this. But in the heat, cold water and then walk like that. It's yeah. really healthy. I think this place is a little bit surreal in this environment because we are surrounded by the mountains there's not far away from here mount fuji and this is actually a mountain area and this weird open air museum with modern art in between it it's kind of weird <laughs> but i think it's a really good place to visit if you're here It's a really good uh, buffet restaurant. I really enjoy it. I paid 2,200 yen, I think, for food and drink. And you see that? <laughs> they have a soft ice. They have a soft ice. This is the usual. This is mine. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> how many of this you had already? Just one small. This is now my bigger one. So cool. And <laughs> I've got my blueberries, mango, and the small chocolate pancake. <laughs> it's good one. Huh? It's filled with the chocolate. Oh, yeah. Bloopers. I don't know if this is a kid bed or is it a cupboard? Uh, like a uh, wardrobe oh yeah he will make a mess oh yeah <laughs> there is literally nobody here beside us this is like a tory gate for the elves you see this it's a cheesecake vending machine it's a dream there's a car with a roof tent on it if i had such a car <laughs> i wouldn't sleep in a roof tent i could afford a hotel <laughs> This vending machine is for the dogs and for the cats. <laughs>